So, okay, welcome back. In the next video, we're going to spend a few minutes thinking about government spending and aggregate demand. So government spending, state spending, uh, sometimes called public expenditure. Uh, what are the main components? Well, there are three main elements of government spending. Uh, one is welfare, transfer payments such as universal credit, uh, the job seekers allowance and the state pension. Now that is not included in government spending G in the familiar equation C plus I plus G plus X minus M because it's not a it's not a payment, it's not spending on goods and services. It's purely a welfare transfer from taxpayers through the government to welfare recipients. So that's not included in G. Then we have public services, recurring spending. Spending happens every week, every month, every year on things like police, um, defence, education and healthcare. And we also have investment spending. The government spends about £60 billion a year on investment. Well, that's, that's going to be in I, C plus I plus G. So our main focus is the middle bit, government spending on public services. You need to know the difference between current and capital spending by the government. Current spending is spending on providing those key public services, the salaries of people working on the front line in the NHS, for example, the, the drugs used in healthcare, the road maintenance budgets on major roads and, and motorways, the, the money spent supplying logistics to the armed forces, etc. The salaries paid to teachers providing education in schools and colleges. That's current spending, whereas capital spending is included in investment, but it's spending by government on capital uh, infrastructure, new motorways and bridges, new equipment used in health services, new schools, flood defence schemes, new defence equipment, etc. So the government clearly has a big role to play. The capital investment appears in investment in I, in C plus I plus G, plus X minus M. So the G bit is government spending on public services. What has happened recently to total government spending? Well, if we look at all the spending by the state, including welfare, uh, before the coronavirus pandemic really gripped the UK and many other countries, the forecast was just under a 5% increase in government spending from 2019 to 2020, up to and taking it over over £900 billion. Some of that, of course, is welfare. Some of that, of course, is investment. But in total, over £900 billion of government spending. The pandemic, the impact of coronavirus, COVID-19, is estimated uh, to have added over £100 billion to total government spending. For example, more than £10 billion extra, as you'd expect, for health and education and social care. Sorry, health and social care. £63 billion in the wide-ranging furlough schemes, providing employment support, the job retention scheme. £24 billion in extra financial support for businesses, an extra £16 billion uh, on benefits, including, I think it was an extra £20 per week for people claiming universal credit. Some extra spending on transport investment, uh, filling the holes in the roads and adding to funding of local authority transport, and actually an extra billion on science and research funding. Well, these things clearly add up uh, to a substantial increase in government spending. So what we've seen happen in 2020 is there's been a very large fiscal stimulus, an increase in government spending, mainly funded by the government borrowing more money, issuing new debt uh, as a way of supporting aggregate demand, although not enough to prevent a deep recession in the UK economy, but without it, the recession would have been much, much deeper. We'll spend a few minutes thinking about exports in our next video.